Hello, hello, hello. How are you today? Hello, hello, hello. Hooray! Greetings, boys and girls. How are you today? Today, I have a special message for you. I'm Dazzle Daddy, bringing you a message from Dumpling. Let me read her letter to you. Hi, boys and girls. I hope you are enjoying your day. There's something I want to tell you. I noticed that sometimes the boys and girls around town forget to show that they are grateful or thankful for what they have and for the things that people do for them. I want you to remember to be thankful because you have a lot to be thankful for. And just because you are wonderful, you should be thankful for that. Love, Dumpling. Wow, boys and girls. Dumpling says she noticed that there are some boys and girls around town who are not being thankful. They're not showing gratitude. Well, boys and girls, you know, being thankful, showing gratitude is not that difficult. It's actually very easy to do. There's a word that you can use. Well, two words. Two. If you put them together as a compound word, it is one, but two little words, guys, that you can say. But you can show gratitude in other ways. You can show it with a smile. You can show gratitude with a hug. You can show that you're thankful just by doing something in return. Someone did something nice for you, so you wrote them a card, a thank you card. You drew them a picture. These are things you could do. Draw a picture, make a thank you card, write a letter, leave a flower behind. There are lots of ways to show that you are thankful. Now, what do you have to be thankful for? Let's count the ways, the things that you have to be thankful for. Let's start from your head and let's go down to your toes. Well, starting from your head, you have two eyes, you have a nose, a mouth, you have ears, and all of those things help you to experience the world around you. How wonderful is that? To experience the world around you. You were born with those things and that is something to be thankful for. Yes, it is. You also have your hands. You can touch and you can feel. Oh, what greatness. Yes, but also, let's talk about your heart. People love you and you love them back. And that is something to be thankful for. Somebody helps take care of you. Somebody taught you how to take a bath. Maybe you're not old enough to take one by yourself. So somebody helps you take a bath. That's something to be thankful for. You have clothes, you have shoes. You might not have everything you want. And that is okay because you have what you need. And that is something to be thankful for. You are alive. You can run, you can jump, you can hop, you can sing, you can dance. Maybe you can't do all those things, but certainly you can do something, right? Right. Now, the word I'm thinking of 
I think I said it a few times, but let me show you the word that you can use is thank you. You can put it on a card. You can just say it. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Dad. Thank you for that piece of candy you gave me last night. Thank you, sister. Thank you, brother. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. A word that is it's just easy to say. Thank you. Yes. Now, something about that word. You see, I put it all together. And that's okay because it is a compound word. And let me show you. It's two words that you put together to make one word. Thank you. And it's okay to say it like this, to write it this way, or to write it all together. Okay? There you go. Thank you. Now, if you want to write it down in a note or something, let's practice spelling it one time or two. Okay? Thank you. T-H-A-N-K Y O U. Thank you for being a good audience. That means you've been a good listener. Mm -hmm. And I have a little book that I want to read to you. And if you just hold on for one minute, here it is it fell on the floor oops all right it is called i said thank you oh and this is a little story but it's it's nice notice the pictures why are they saying thank you? I said thank you to my friend. Thank you. What do you think is in the box? I don't know. Some gift. <laughs> Looks like he got his friend a present. Hmm. I said thank you to my grandma. Oh. Okay. I said thank you to my teacher. Wow. How nice. How nice. And you know, it feels good when someone tells you thank you. Mm -hmm. I said thank you to the waitress. Oh. They're out at a restaurant, and the waitress is handing them their food. Well, I'm not handing them, but you know, serving them. So they're saying thank you, showing gratitude. I said thank you to the bus driver. Thank you. Wow. All the people you can thank. I said thank you to the crossing guard. Well, yes. Crossing guard helped to keep them safe. Helped them cross the street safely. Stop those cars. Don't you go any closer. All right. I said, thank you to the ice cream man. And he said, you're welcome. Oh, how nice. Thank you. Those were a lot of things to be thankful for, right? Especially that ice cream. <laughs> oh, well, it's all wonderful. When someone does something for you, no matter how big or small, you should always show gratitude. So thank you. I appreciate
appreciate what you did for me. And now, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. It's time to say goodbye until we meet again. And thank you for coming to Dazzleberry and Dumpling's place. Bye-bye. Love you.